guys and welcome to my channel so i am going to discuss because of lila by abby glines this is the second book of the sea breeze that meets rosemary beach a series um so if you haven't seen my other review in regards to or reviews i don't know um in regards to abby glines i do love um her writing for the most of it um, I love her Rosemary Beach and Seabreeze series. This is definitely the crossover um, from that. Um, this is the new generation. So this is about Lila Carter, which is the daughter of Grant Carter and Harlow, um, Harlow Manning. If you haven't seen the Rosemary Beach, uh, if you haven't read the Rosemary Beach series, that is definitely kind of a spoiler if you haven't reached their story. Um, so I apologize for that, but... Um, if you don't really care, then then it doesn't matter. So in this story, um, this is the cover. As I've mentioned before, I prefer um, ebooks because it's better for the environment. Number one, and number two, I can I can pick whatever book I want that day, and um, and then because I'm I'm usually a pretty fast reader when I have the time, um, so. So, um, if I have, you know, I, I usually do like, a um, sometimes there's whatever I feel like I want to read, but most, for the most part, um, the genres are pretty similar. There has to be a lot of romance or some romance in the stories. I like that kind of story. Um, so this is, this really kept me guessing because it's somewhat of a love triangle or a love square in a sense. Maybe more of a triangle than a square. Um, so it starts off with Lila and then I don't really want to give it any spoilers because um, I think if I discuss a little bit more, I think that will happen. Do I recommend this book? Yes. Do I give it a two thumbs up? Um, I'm not going to give it a two thumbs up. I'm going to give it a one thumbs up. And the other one is not going to be a thumbs down. Um, out of a 10, I would say this really kind of frustrated me in a, in a lot of ways because of the direction of Lila and also of like, I don't know. It was just frustrating and you have this internal kind of struggle with her and other characters in the other characters in the book and I think that was a frustrating part for me um the frustration isn't really something that is a bad thing essentially it actually is kind of a good thing because it got me really frustrated that means it was able to really get in depth with me and my feelings so that's actually a good thing um so out of a 10 which I have really kind of toyed if I was gonna rate that right away or not um, out of a 10, 1 being the least I recommend and 10 being the best I would recommend, I would rate this book as probably um, a 7. If I have to compare this to the first one of this series, um, that one I, I completely love and adore. This one I did enjoy but not really nearly, I'm not, not equally as much. Um, so now is the part that I will probably discuss about spoilers and I will probably give you some spoilers. So if you are not interested in stuff like that, please stop watching the video now. I do not want to hurt anybody and, and bother them and get them upset. So essentially in the beginning, I was really like, oh, so this is going to be Lila and Eli. What a shocker that was. I was really like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a boring book because... Um, with the Sea Breeze series, the second book was in regards to Marcus, who is Eli's father, and um, Harlow, I forgot her last name, Harlow, which is Eli's mother. That was their story. And um, it kind of is very similar to what Eli is, um, is going through, in which he is in love with someone, you know, the unrequited love. Um, He's completely in love with his best friend or someone else and that person doesn't really um, 
share the same feelings towards him. And that was what Marcus was feeling towards, I forgot her name, but she was in the first book um, and also in the second book a little bit. So I was kind of like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the same. It's going to be boring. It's not going to be very interesting. And that really, really, I think, was kind of like how Abby was trying to make it seem like it in the beginning. But that really catapulted it in a different story, in a different level. And just, um, I thoroughly enjoyed the book. So, essentially, um, I don't really want to say who she ends up with because it's a love triangle, but someone in her childhood past has, um, seems to, seems to be conflicted in their feelings in regards with Lila and is kind of on the fence and a little bit confused if they are, um, reacting to her decision, her major decision in a platonic way, in a brotherly way, or something else that they entirely don't want to admit, or scared to admit, or isn't aware of. Um, I don't want to say who it is, because I think that would be a major spoiler. Um, again, with other, with most of Abby's books, there is a lot of explicit language in there, which is sexualated, and some cursing. Um, it's done really well in which it's not really too abrasive in my opinion. Um, it, you know, it's, it's definitely done such in an, in an eloquent way, in an eloquent way that it is, it, that it really, um, meshes well with the story. So, um, this is pretty much a journey of Lila kind of wanting to discover herself, um, wanting to be someone else, wanting to better herself, wanting to be, um, wanting to get out of her comfort zone in a sense. So she goes to Seabreeze, she gets to meet Eli, Eli Hardy, um, who is Bliss's best friend that was Bliss York from the first book. Um, of the series and she is now engaged to Nate Finlay so I was really to be honest I was really really shocked with this book because I was in the big in the beginning in some parts of it I'm like oh yeah of course of course how predictable and then for whatever reason whenever I say that like as soon as I do a turn there it goes I'm being told you are wrong <laughs> this is not predictable at all and um, I completely enjoyed it. Um, I'm not really sure where, when the third book is going to come out. And I'm not really sure what it's going to be about. So I'm prob so because I only have these two, I'll probably venture out on a different book after this. Because I just really, literally just finished it. Um, do I recommend this book? Yes very much so if you're a fan of Abby Glines if you're a fan of the Seabreeze series as well as the Rosemary Beach series yes um again I has I've discussed it with the previous um the the first book with the, in the series this is a standalone series you don't really need to know the background of the the previous uh, generation however it would it would answer a lot of questions if you are one of those people that are very um, curious like me. I would probably have preferred to reach both of those. I mean, if I never heard of Abby Glines and any of her series and then I stumbled into this and also the other book um, and I read it, I would probably be very curious. But, you know, um, I would... I would probably be like after the first book I'd probably be like okay I'm gonna focus on getting all the Rosemary books and all the Seabreeze books before I continue on my journey with the Seabreeze meets Rosemary Beach series um but if you're not one of those people that are like that then you're awesome um <laughs> and yeah again you don't need to have the backstory of the the previous generation um, because it is a standalone series and it's done amazingly. 
So um, thank you so much guys for stopping by and watching my book review in regards to Because of Lila, which is book two of the Sea Breeze meets Rosemary Beach series by Abby Glines. Thank you for watching my video. Um, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button with the bell because that helps me grow my channel. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to do that down below in the comment section. And always, always check my description box because there's always a lot of goodies in there. Links, coupons, and a whole lot more. Thank you guys and I will see you again next time. Bye.